Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sanket Singh, I'm working as a software engineer at Google. And in this particular video, I'm going to tell you five most important topics that you should definitely revise before you appear for your JavaScript or front-end engineering interviews. These five topics, I believe, are one of the most important ones. And to be very honest, if you will revise and get all of the related concepts very well, then definitely you are going to do very good in your interviews. I'll be telling you two to three good resources using which you can actually refer and learn these topics. So without any further delay, let's just start. But before starting the video, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do consider subscribing to the channel. We are going to put some really awesome content on this particular channel. So without any further delay, let's just start. So the first and the most important topic that every JavaScript developer must know is how exactly JavaScript handles asynchronous task. Being synchronous in nature itself, how exactly JavaScript is able to do all of these asynchronous tasks like running timers, downloading content, doing DOM manipulation, all of these stuff, right? You should definitely be aware about how exactly JavaScript executes all of this. While you are going to learn all of this, you are going to get introduced to a lot of concepts, right? For example, something called as event loop, micro task queue, macro task queue, promises, async await, iterator generators, etc. Right. Whenever you will appear for a JavaScript interview, there is a high likely chance that the interviewer might give you two to three type of questions. For example, they might give you a question and then ask you to predict the output. And generally these questions are based on the asynchronous nature of JavaScript, right? So you should be having a good, fair understanding of how exactly event loop works, how exactly the runtime comes into the picture in order to execute the asynchronous task, how JavaScript communicates all of this, right? What, what is the role of these macro tasks as well as micro task queues, all of these things, right? Apart from that, having good knowledge of promises is very, very, very important. So I would highly recommend you guys to make sure that you learn the basics and fundamentals of asynchronous programming well. Try to write some code. For example, a very good exercise can be that you can write a bunch of callbacks based asynchronous handled code and then try to convert all of those codes into promise based syntax, right? This actually gives you a fair understanding of how exactly things work. Apart from that, a lot of people think that callbacks just have problems of callback help. Try to read more about callbacks that learn about what is inversion of control. All of these topics becomes very important when you actually appear for an engineering interview because just knowing how exactly to work something on the front end or just pull off something using react is not necessary because there might be a case that the team that you will land up on might be working on some internal libraries that will be powered by javascript and if you will know the core root concepts of javascript it is going to be extremely helpful for not only you but even the company so this is my first recommendation that make sure that you do revise this particular concept so if you are someone who is also preparing for their upcoming interviews in JavaScript and still struggling that how to learn data structures and algorithms and all the important advanced concepts of JavaScript like coercion, scopes, closures, asynchronous nature of JavaScript and whatnot, then don't worry. We at AlgoCam have a brand new course on data structures and algorithms in JavaScript. This is a completely self-paced recorded course where we also conduct live classes every three to four weeks. In this course, we cover end-to-end -end data structures and algorithms. And this course doesn't expect you to be an expert or intermediate program already. If you are someone who doesn't know anything about programming or have some beginner idea about programming in any programming language, this is a one-stop solution for you to prepare data structures and algorithms in JavaScript along with all the important advanced concepts of JavaScript. In this course, we start with absolute basics of introduction to programming with JavaScript, basic conditional loops, functions, and then start our algorithmic journey with pattern problem solving, some mixed problem solving, problems around loops and strings. We discuss about arrays and objects, and we discuss a tons and tons of problems around arrays and loops. Then we also discuss the two pointer algorithms. We also try to discuss about 2D arrays and problem solving around 2D arrays. We discuss about recursion, bit manipulation. We talk about time and space complexity analysis, all the important sorting algorithms like mode sort, quick sort, and you can see dedicated problem solving and all the advanced analysis of all the sorting algorithms are there. Then we also talk about searching algorithms like binary search. Right. We also talk about data structures like linked list. We talk about stacks, problem solving around stacks, monotonous stacks, queues, problem solving around queues, hashing, problem solving around hashing. We talk about binary trees. We talk about binary search trees. 
heaps, greedy algorithms. We also talk about dynamic programming, 1D, 2D, multidimensional DP in JavaScript. That's the best part. Along with graph algorithm, shortest path algorithm, minimum spanning trees and whatnot. You can see all of these are the most important concepts that you need to learn if you are learning data structures and algorithms. And if JavaScript is a first language or you are willing to learn all of this in JavaScript because you have more uh, interest intended towards JavaScript or you are a front-end engineer, then this is going to be a one-stop solution. Here we will also talk about all the important advanced concepts of JavaScript like coercion in depth, asynchronous nature of JavaScript, promises, closures, scopes, and whatnot. So what are you waiting for? The course is priced at just 2450 with a one year validity, right? This is going to be an absolute one-stop solution and you can just check out the website of algocaro.io. I will link this course in the description section below. Do check it out and let's move on to our video. So the second most important point that you should definitely be aware before you appear for your engineering interviews is how exactly objects are maintained in JavaScript. What is prototypal inheritance and how exactly objects really are related to it. So the object oriented programming part in JavaScript is quite different than other languages like C++ or Java. There are a lot of nuances that are absolutely different. For example, starting from the this pointer to how exactly inheritance works, everything, right? So you should have a fair understanding of how to write classes because writing class based syntax is going to be one of the major part of your actual coding journey as well, right? So if you will not understand how these classes actually work behind the scenes, you might not be able to clear your interviews, right? You should be having a fair understanding of how exactly the prototype chaining works, right? How exactly the objects of JavaScript are kind of like different in their terms of behavior than other languages, right? What exactly the class-based syntax actually introduces it to? Because earlier JavaScript was not having this class-based syntax. So how people were able to pull off all of this just by using functions. You should have a fair amount of understanding around what is exactly done. Apart from that, specific context and specific functions like call, apply, bind, these methods are very important. A lot of time uh, you will see that people will directly ask questions on that, right? So you should be having a fair amount of idea. And I believe in order to practice all of this, try to write a bunch of classes and try to uh, write a machine coding, like try to have a mimicked machine coding around where you're going to write a lot of classes through JavaScript and execute some stuff because I believe by doing that, you actually understand the core nuances of what JavaScript exactly has to offer. So the third most important point that you should definitely revise before your next engineering interview is what are the new features that were introduced in ECMAScript 6, right? For example, starting from things like arrow functions to uh, keywords like let, all of these things, destructuring uh, syntax, right? Modules, all of these things you should definitely try to learn. Do have some context about all of this. It's not like people are going to actually ask you syntax based questions, but having the knowledge and context about these will help you a lot in the interviews. For example, I was, when I was giving the front end engineering interview for Sprinkler, I was also asked a lot of questions around a bunch of functions. I myself said that I don't remember the actual syntax, but I know what actually happens behind the scenes under the hood. This is something very important that you should be honest with the fact that, okay, this is something that I know I have worked with, but don't expect that I remember the syntax as well, right? Syntax, we can actually Google and that's what dev is all about, right? We can actually take the help online. So make sure you do revise all of this. And apart from that, one of the least discussed topic that is coercion, do try to revise coercion as much as possible, right? How exactly type conversion works? Do you think JavaScript just handles things in weird way, right? What are the different abstract operations? Having knowledge about this gives you an edge. I would say coercion is not a must have topic, but if you know about coercion, then you will be definitely having edge over others in your engineering interviews, right? If you want to master coercion, I believe that the best way to master coercion is actually to read the official ECMAScript docs, right? I'll link the official ECMAScript docs in the description below. So if you get some time, do check them out. The fourth point that definitely you should never even think to skip is lexical scoping. Yes, JavaScript handles scopings in a bit different way, right? You should be having fair understanding of how exactly scopes work in JavaScript. A very famous question, a very common question is the differences between var, let and const. And the major difference between these three keywords actually come from how they handle the scopes. You should be having fair knowledge of block scoping, function scoping, and how exactly lexical scoping works in JavaScript, whether JavaScript is compiled or interpreted, how exactly the variables are scoped, right? What value will be assigned to a particular variable in a particular set of execution? In involvement of strict mode in the scoping behavior. 
ऑटो ग्लोबल मैकेनिज्म ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स यू शुड बी डेफिनेटली बी अवेयर अबाउट वेन यू आर एक्चुअली गोइंग टू अपियर इन योर इंटरव्यू बिकॉज लॉट ऑफ टाइम देर विल बी प्रिडिक्ट द आउटपुट बेस्ड क्वेश्चन ऑन स्कोप एज वेल राइट मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दट वर आस्ट टू मी एटलीस्ट दिस कैन बी स्पेसिफिक टू मी एज वेल बट मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दट वर आस्ट टू मी इन स्प्रिंकलर इफ आई गिव जस्ट द एक्जाम्पल ऑफ द स्प्रिंकलर इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू दैन मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वर ऑन प्रोटोटाइपल इनहेरिटेंस एंड स्कोप्स इन प्रोटोटाइपल इनहेरिटेंस दे इवन आस्ट मी टू एक्चुअली एड अ फंक्शन टू द प्रोटोटाइप ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट राइट एंड इन स्कोप देर वर टर्स एंड टर्स ऑफ प्रोडिक्ट द आउटपुट बेस्ड क्वेश्चन so i believe having knowledge of scopes is very important and when you actually write your code having good knowledge of scopes actually improve the overall code quality that you actually deliver as a javascript engineer so this is definitely a must have concept that you should definitely remember cut so one more bonus point that i would like to mention in this video is going to be closures yes so if you have good knowledge about scopes and you already know about asynchronous programming then definitely you must have heard about closures right closures is going to be one of the most tricky topics that if you are given a question on you might be getting confused right so having knowledge of how exactly the variable access exists even the function does not exist anymore things like these makes the concept of closure a bit more difficult and confusing so i would recommend that if you are appearing for an interview first of all focus on your scopes and asynchronous programming part and when you will be actually learning all of this in between only you should try to learn about uh, closures because getting exam better examples of closures is very easy if you have good knowledge about scopes as well as the asynchronous programming part a lot of time people think that in their upcoming front end in engineering interviews a very big and very heavy focus might be on dom manipulation or react or anything yes there is a lot of questions around how exactly you can efficiently update the dom questions around virtual dom react hooks how the hooks under under the hood work but all of this at least in my opinion are majorly 20 to 25% of the interview part remaining is very heavily focused on javascript because if you claim yourself to be a front end engineering uh, uh, engineer then and you don't know javascript then it doesn't make a lot of sense right and the biggest i would say friction in becoming a good 10x level front end engineer is having good knowledge of javascript only because frameworks like react or let's say frameworks like angular all of these frameworks evolve with time right like if you go 2015 2016 a lot of class based components were relevant in react nowadays function functional components are more relevant along with hooks in react right so these frameworks and their technologies change but the under the hood concept that remains is how exactly javascript handles all of these things that's why even in interviews you will ex you can expect that there will be a heavy uh, i would say weight given to how much you actually know about javascript so definitely if you are appearing for your upcoming interviews do make sure that you learn these four as well as the bonus topic that i mentioned now let's talk about if you want to learn all of these topics where you can actually learn from so i would like to mention some of the very cool and must have resources that i also referred when i was learning javascript the first one is the series of books that that is called as you don't know js by kyle simpson trust me it's one of the most interesting and one of the best javascript fundamental book right there are five parts five series to this book so it can be a bit uh, overwhelming for a, a lot of people but if you can actually go through all of them you will get an immense amount of knowledge right apart from that i would highly recommend you guys to regularly do go through what are the new additions that are done in the latest version of javascript by looking at the official documentation of javascript trust me if you want to learn the concept of coercion and the es6 features there is no other better resource than ecmascript docs right a lot of people think that md and docs are the official docs that's not the case ecmascript releases their own official docs for every version and that is something that you can definitely refer and if you want to learn all of these topics in depth right i have already added a new course on algocamp right there are two courses actually one is data structures and algorithms in javascript and one is back end development in javascript in both of these courses i have covered all of these concepts in depth right the end agenda of both of the courses is different for example in data structures and algorithms i am majorly focusing on data structures and algorithmic problem solving using javascript and in the back end part we are more more or less focusing on node js but the javascript fundamental remains same and all of these topic in a very in depth manner i have actually talked about by actually referring to the official documentation giving a lot of examples and trust me even with some simple topics like async await we have actually learned them from scratch that from the concepts of iterators and generators how you can actually learn and get an intuition of async await even this level minute this minute level detailing we have done to the course so do make sure you do check out check it out and apart from that if you are actually learning any particular concepts around javascript i believe just try to go to google and just say for example uh, 
five most important points about scopes in JavaScript and just write medium in front of it. You will get tons and tons of very cool medium articles that are very concise, very good to revise and have good amount of knowledge, right? So you can even consume a lot of JavaScript based content on medium articles. If you are someone who is more aligned towards reading articles, this is going to be a fun learning to go, right? So I hope that this video actually made sense to you. I'm planning to put a complete react roadmap as well as some of the most important react based concepts that you should definitely go through before your next engineering interview. If you want to know about these things as well, do comment down that should I make these two videos or not. And if you have any doubt, then also please drop a comment in the comment section below. I would be happy to reply to them. And if you actually enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like and please, please, please do subscribe to the channel. Right? Do like the video because then only the algorithm will know that you want to watch more of this content. That being said, let's wrap today's session here. We are going to meet soon in the next set of videos. Till then, take care guys. Bye-bye. I am Sanket Singh, signing off.